10. Johann Liebert, Monster. As the titular monster of the series, Johann Liebert is one of the most fascinating and cruel characters in the world of anime. While some of his behavior can be explained by his deeply traumatic childhood, Monster goes out of its way to depict other characters who went through the same things, proving that there's something intrinsic about Johan that pushes him to take lives. He's taken at everyone from his own adoptive parents to the co-workers of the man who saved his life. He even has other serial killers working with him, though he's more than happy to end them when they're no longer useful. He's so renowned for his bloodthirsty behavior that the Nazi party tried to get him to rise up as the next Hitler. Since that wasn't his thing, he just slaughtered them to get them off his back. Johan's motives are a large part of what makes Monster interesting, but ultimately he isn't a sympathetic villain, he's a monster until the very end. 9. Overhaul, My Hero Academia Overhaul is a Yakuza boss who initially seeks to forge a partnership with the League of Villains. He introduces himself by blasting Magna to bits and critically injuring Mr. Compress. He believes that quirks originated from rats, and that they're actually disgusting sicknesses rather than something that should be valued. He wants to eliminate quirks from the human population and found the opportunity to do so in Eerie, a little girl whose cells could be used to create a quirk-destroying drug. The only person he ever showed any concern for was his boss, but while he once eliminated anyone who went against his boss, he put him in a coma himself when he refused to accept Overhaul's plan to use Eerie, his granddaughter. All in all, the man shows not one iota of remorse for his actions and places little to no value on human life. 8. Frieza, Dragon Ball Z you can't talk about anime villains with hearts of pure coal without talking about Frieza. Frieza is in the business of buying and selling planets, and he couldn't care less about the fates of those planets' inhabitants. In fact, he's the person responsible for blowing up planet Vegeta, effectively committing genocide against an entire species, for the sole reason that he was worried that their super scion powers might eventually pose a threat to his power-grabbing schemes. Never once does he display a shred of remorse for his actions, instead, he gleefully mocks the survivors of his crimes. 7. Junko Enoshima, Ronpa. Junko Enoshima is acting out of malice and selfishness, which is what earns her a spot on this list. Because her favorite thing in the world is creating despair and misery, she'll do whatever it takes to make that happen, even organizing survival games that turn innocent people into monsters, and slaying both her twin sister and her love interest after convincing them that she never cared for them in the first place, just to squeeze out the maximum amount of misery before ending them. Junko is sadistic, manipulative, horrifically cruel, and an agent of pure chaos. 6. Sosuke Aizen, Bleach. Sosuke Aizen is one of the most notorious villains in the world of anime, and part of that is because of his dark, evil heart. When he first appears, he seems to a be a loyal member of Soul Society, but he soon reveals that he's been plotting to overthrow it for a long time. He uses a combination of murder and manipulation in order to further his plans and ultimately has no loyalty to anything but his own quest for power. 5. Dio Brando, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure You thought that this list would feature the infamous villain Dio Brando, and you were right, because here's Dio. This all-powerful vampire begins the series by trying to ruin his adoptive brother's life by doing everything from framing him for crimes to burning his dog alive. As the series progresses, his power, cruelty, and ambition only increase. One example of his terrible behavior involves promising a woman that he won't eliminate her child, then technically keeping that promise by turning her into a vampire and making her do the deed instead. In fact, Dio is so cruel that one of the only examples of him showing empathy is when he takes his father's life, the reason may have been partially because of how poorly his father treated Dio's mother, rather than solely because of his evil nature. That's not much. 4. The Major, Helsing. It's kind of hard to get worse than a villain who was handpicked by Adolf Hitler for the SS, which is part of why the Major is an absolute must for this list. Aside from standard Nazi wrongdoings which in Helsing are largely focused on vampirism, the Major adores war. His gleeful grin whenever he sees other people suffering from the horrific torment he orchestrates for them is all the proof anyone needs to that this man is straight up evil. 3. Shu Tucker, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. It's probably not a surprise that Shu Tucker is on this list. After all, he's one of the most hated characters in the anime community, and for good reason. Desperate to produce another speaking chimera for his research, he sacrifices his own daughter, Nina, by fusing her with the family dog. It is also revealed that he did the same thing to his wife two years prior. He committed these atrocious crimes against his own family just so he could keep his state alchemist certification and research privileges. 2. Father, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. While Shu Tucker is a strong contender for most evil anime character, in terms of sheer body count, the award has to go to Father. 
Father is a homunculus who tricked the city of Xerxes into creating the conditions needed for him to acquire godlike powers, wiping out nearly the entire civilization in the process. Later, he tries to do a similar thing again, this time with the help of his homunculus children, so that he can become a so-called perfect being. He sees those around him, even his own children, as expendable tools to help him achieve that end, and has no sense of guilt or remorse for any of the lives he's taken. 1. Griffith, Berserk Part of what makes Griffith so cruel is that he didn't just attack unsuspecting victims, he betrayed his comrades. The Band of the Hawk was a group of mercenaries who considered Griffith an important friend and ally, and in fact once rescued him from captivity despite the great personal risk they incurred by doing so. Griffith's lust for power was so consuming that when he got the opportunity to become a god called Femto, he willingly sacrificed the lives of just about all of his former friends in the process. Oh, and he assaulted Casca, forcing her lover guts to watch. Why does he do all this? Because he desperately wants to create and rule his own kingdom, likely as a reaction to a childhood marred by extreme poverty. That's it for the video. What other characters would fit in this character tell me in the comment below the like button. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.